Well, the army in Virginia survived. Thank <laughs> God. The only so army. the army in Tennessee. No, there's one in Tennessee too. They both survived, kind of. Okay, I'm gonna start adding war goals on Netherlands. The country's fairly intact. Oh. I'm satisfied with it. Where's the army of Virginia at? In Richmond. Oh, okay, I see it now. It didn't get completely wiped yeah, during that yeah. battle. They kind of did, but I don't know. For some reason, it looks like 49. Oh wait, and you probably got troops underneath it. Yeah, you you only have like 2,000. Yeah, it's, it's 1,894 guys left. Okay, yeah. It's retreating, actually, I think. It's pretty historical about the Army of Virginia when Robert E. Lee surrendered. Yeah. They had like, I don't know, five or 10,000 guys left. Army of Tennessee is intact. Hey, John Wayne. John Wayne? What you doing there? He can give me military access. <laughs> like, seriously, he needs to give me military access. This is for <laughs> Gaku's just pulling all his troops. I am gonna consider this offer for a little bit, Chad. No. Like, give me military <laughs> access. You bully. Yeah, yeah, give it, just pulls give it to him on the 6th. On the 6th. No. Okay, here, wait. <laughs> wait you till the 6th. Oh. <clears throat> it, you got most of your guys on there, right? Or just... The fun part is, it looks like all his troops are attacking now. Yeah. I'm Let's... sorry, he's kind of my... my pimp, like, right now, so I, I have to listen to him. CSA ain't right nothing now. but hoes and tricks. He's Bubba, I have to listen to him. You're just my ombre. Hold the line! What line? <laughs> it's a line. It's cutting off Tampa. The line of St. Augustine. <laughs> You're gonna end up in the Florida Everglades. That's where we're going. Like guerrilla warfare. Seminoles for the yeah. win. Hide, no. hide in with the natives. We are but Indians. Oh, oh white men. <laughs> oh, never mind. He's reinforcing. You look European to me. You're kind of pale. <laughs> no, no way. Put mud over your face. Oh, we are not. Transylvanians? There are no vampires here. <laughs> Still outnumbered. Okay, never mind. Retreat, man. Here comes the onslaught. Retreat. Why have a chance? The entire American army just charging in. Oh, he doesn't even have a fleet anymore to get him out of there. I don't think. He doesn't have it near that area. It's okay, you can build more guys, easily. So, I think what's gonna end up happening is he might have, like, minus 50 in battles, but then he'll have, like, no tickers or anything. So, it'll just... Pretty okay. Much. Yeah, well, well you have to resolve it if there's a stalemate. Or one of you has to invade. Problem there is Gaku has more spread out land. How did you get there first? I have good military tech. I don't know. No, I mean Tampa. Railroads, maybe. No, because I was already moving. And he could have had a few stacks that were slightly faster. Oh yeah, yeah. Stacks. I, I think because I was already moving there, they were like halfway there when the battle started. You know how that worked. Yeah, mine were there before, uh, well, never mind. Doesn't matter. Right, I just said... Whenever you can. Yeah, well, I need to wipe the one in this Florida. That would be cool. I like to have the looks of my Confederate flag still flying over parts of the South. There's not really much, like, special about the South, though. Like, you don't even have slavery. So it's like... We have, uh, lots of other cool stuff. Like tobacco. Yeah, Coca Cola. Actually, yeah. yeah. He yeah, would have Coca Cola. Like, it's for some buggies at this time. Like box car racing. Yeah. But you you do have Coca Cola. Moonshine. moonshine. Or Coca Cola. Well, technically he has moonshine too. He just took Louisiana. 
He also has cotton or such places. Well, I hope you learned something, Matt. I did. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't think one little attack would have made a difference. I only attacked him in one province. By one, you mean eight, right? <laughs> I mean, I had like a 70 to his 30, but I didn't realize that he would just reinforce it quickly. That quickly. I didn't realize the digging and the forts and all that would make so much of a difference. There's a river crossing penalty, too. Yep. I just, I don't think of those kind of things. I just see the guys on the map and I want to move them. <laughs> the problem with the river crossing is you actually have to, like, look at the map to make sure there's a river. Yeah. I learned my lesson. I see why guys are more defensive and tactical about it now. That wasn't the way Victoria used to be. That's the way life is. Like, well, if you think about it, could 30,000 guys really occupy a, a province the size of Rhode Island? No. Well. So in real life, I would have crossed that goddamn river, come up upon your guys from the flanks, and destroyed them. But, let's just say there's more than 30,000 people in Rhode Island, so... Oh. Look, look at the front in Tampa. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's not really a front. It's just no, a battle. No, I mean, like, in the battle. Look at the... Oh. Yeah. Artillery you... up front, that makes sense. Well, the sizes. <laughs> I want to do Empire Total War Victoria Mall. I can fight the battle. Oh, no, that's the general. It has minus 5% reliability, so. The ultimate game would be something like that. A grand strategy Total War game. Yes, and I would totally, like, spend the rest of my life playing it. I don't care if it took, like, 10 hours a day. Well, considering, like, the average human has 8 hours of work and then 8 hours of sleep, that leaves, or you're supposed to, at least. Well, I don't think anyone average. actually does. I'm not average. And then you would have 8 hours of game time. I would play it every day, like, the rest of my life, if they had something like that. And I think Andrew could actually do it if he thought about it hard enough. I'm sure if they wanted to. Like, you just, like, portal it so the Empire launches at the same time. <laughs> That'd just be like having two games open. Yeah. And then loading a custom battle. Loading a custom battle with, like, 40 based off, stack. Yeah. Based yeah, off so. Victoria 2 stats. Is it a town? Is it a fort? You know, play it like that. I think it'd be really awesome. Yeah, like, well, like rather than odd, town, odd. you would have, like, the fort level. Well, they have towns in Empire. I know they do, but that's... They even have naval battles. They do. But you'll only be able to get maximum 20 ships, unless you could, like, triple the amount of ships in each unit. That'd be so cool. Mm. I, I remember playing a battle on Empire, and the, the mm -hmm. British army attacked me as the, the Americans, and yeah. they, they had, like, five times the number of troops I did, and I had mainly, like, just irregulars and militia units. Oh, and I just put them in houses, and like the the British just came in one unit at a time, and I just shot them to pieces until all of them retreated. Hey, I think your army's retreating more than one province. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? It doesn't really have a choice. Well, I mean, it's either that or retreating into a six stack. Are, Are you sure? Florida? Are you sure? Where's it going? I don't know. Let's see if we can find it. Key West. It's going, going to Saint Augustine. Augustine. Where's Saint Augustine? Just north. Yeah, one province north. Here, wait, let's see where it goes after that, though. Wait, where'd your army go? Did you just, like, load it on ships or something? They're hiding in the Everglades, I don't know. Maybe. They, did they not get wiped? See, like, that's complete garbage. <laughs> I deleted them. Really? Oh. I retreated them just to delete them. <laughs> so is this war still going on? Like, why don't you guys end it? The Great War? Because someone would have to get disarmed and... Pay war, calculate, or yeah, disarmed and humiliate. Oh, okay, or... and humiliate. Oh no, I can yeah, piece out that Netherlands. Take battle war score? I can piece out Netherlands now. Is it because they're fully occupied, basically? Yeah. And they have two provinces left. And you have a nice big fleet, so I don't think you'd be you've, able to take your. You've got zero percent on that. What's what's the ticker for though? I don't know. I thought it was battles, but. Yeah, I thought it was battles too. I don't know, let's see, Westfallen has a Humiliate on Netherlands, it's a 0%. Maybe it's broken. Maybe. Nah, it's Wouldn't working perfectly. Me. As intended. And that's because I don't think Westfallen did much to the Netherlands. You ready to surrender? No. 
And you can't wait. Let's see. I, I will find. Oh, you know what? Actually, what? Here's a rule I found. What? Um, you have to only people who are allied to. Okay. Your wait, 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 wait. The fun part is I haven't even looked at the rules for like the, these games. I've just been playing. But see, the problem is, is that nobody really looks at your rules, so they're yeah. not. Very well. I just assume it's covered. laser rules. I don't know those either. It's okay, no one knows laser rules. <laughs> However, I can get the jokes because I watch your YouTube quite a bit. Like, the only ones I don't watch is this series and certain uh, shorts. Oh, uh, yeah. They're from the other series and I already watched those. Uh huh. But I, I did feel special because I kind of had my own short. That was nice. Why couldn't they have made the the right, the correct name generals, you know? They have, like, close to the right names, but not quite. Why couldn't they have made the right names? And I think they're just, like, generic names, to be honest. No, they're not. I see Beauregard, Pickett, Johnson, Jackson, yeah. Yule. These are all Southern gener generals. Yeah. McLaws, Hill, Early, Bragg. But they got but generic first names. Yeah. It, it picks from a list of first names and a list of last names and just puts them together. Oh. Like, I don't think any of the actual Southern Generals were alive at this time period, so... I did see a Robert E. Lee at one point, though. No, this war is just gonna go on forever. No, it's not. Why not? You'll see. You, you just sit tight. Don't worry about a thing. Even I'm slightly confused about what's happening. Look at diplomacy to know what the hell's going on. Like, the only oh, reason. Great Wars. Oh, the Great War, okay. It's about the right time period, too, and that's the fun part. Oh. Are you guys just gonna full Australia, too? Have to get on that, yeah. So it's France and Transylvania and Ukraine versus America and Netherlands. Currently, France is being kinda defeated. Are they? Alright. By what? Australia. What are you talking about? Uh, they lost Papua New Guinea. Oh, so they did. And they have, like, their little army in the south there, but... Oh, there is another game that we could use to portray battles like that that's more accurate. Uh, the Scourge what? of War series. The what? Scourge of War. I don't know what Sandbox that is. It. It's like a Civil War simulator kind of battles game. Huh. Really detailed, and uh, you could just sandbox mode like the units and the maps. And you could put literally hundreds of thousands. They're not portrayed like imp like empire. They're portrayed like one guy equals five, but they still look nice. They still got animations. Hmm. Look it up. Scourge <clears throat> of War. Scourge of War. Scourge of War, Gettysburg, something like that. Look that up. And now you could put like a hundred thousand troops, you know, in sandbox the battles, set them up the way you want. There's a Civil War game made by the History Channel. Pretty bad. Hmm. Like, yeah. Siam acquires all states, really? Yeah. Really? Really, Release Siam. Oh, yeah, Siam's like fully occupied. How much war like score is that? Steady. Oh, yeah? The battles can take a few hours each, so I think it'd be too boring for anyone but me. Empire's a little more flashy and fast-paced and stuff. They had mortars? Oh my god. Guys. Guess what? What's up? I'm no longer socialist. Really? Best thing that's, that's ever good. happened. No way. Time to decrease relationships with Venice. <laughs> <laughs> what party did you become? A uh, conservative. They take over again, somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, though, to be honest. Money? They bought their way into the office, like usual? How are the conservatives in charge? Like, 30% of the upper house is still socialist. <laughs> I think it was an event, and I just didn't read all of it. And Burma? What are you trying to do here? I don't know. That's just unacceptable. <laughs> 